drive up and down semi-populated roads and see if there's anyone who's out driving drunk. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate fight for me! 27 days left, and... Do 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 I know I'm not shaving. Leave me alone. I'm not in Disney yet. Time is going much quicker than I originally had anticipated. However, I still have a lot of stuff to do, like at work and home. And by the way, uh, I will be doing an interview with other CPs on May 3rd, which is like some uh, going away doobly thing at my school. Uh, there will be other CPs there from my school and I will be interviewing them if I can. I probably have to get permission have people sign release forms and such. Don't know what all these people are worrying about. I've been watching quite a number of YouTube videos on uh, other Disney College program participants and you know this might just be the personal opinion of many but I'm I'm watching some of them and some of them say that Disney treats them like crap and like I said, this may just be the personal opinion of each individual CP, and I don't mean to, you know, misjudge or anything like that, but when I was down there, they treated me just fine. I don't know what they personally did for Disney to treat them in such a manner. From what I've heard, the Disney College program is a great experience, and from what I've experienced, it is a great experience. I don't know why some people are saying that they were treated like crap. Like I said, it must be their own personal opinion. It must be the role, the specific role they were in. Yeah, well, maybe custodial is not the greatest job in the world. Don't be watching these videos and get discouraged ba just based off of one or two other people will tell you. I mean, what? what's two people's opinion compared to, you know, many others. Not to mention the fact that each, each CP's experience is different. They're not all going to be the same. If, if you have a custodial role, then, you know, you can only make your job as enjoyable as you want to make it. You know, if you go down there and you're all like, uh, I got assigned to custodial and I, I, I'm going to hate it. I, I got to clean toilets and I got to pick up spilt ice cream and spilt food and I got to pick up spilt barf. Spilt barf? And I got I got to pick up, you know, people's people's vomit and and I got to clean things and I got to I got to clean this and I got to clean that. Well, yeah, of course your program is going to be miserable. If you look at it that way, you're being negative about yourself. But if you if you learn to make it fun and look at it as not so much as having to clean clean up after people, you know, look at it as, you know, an opportunity to possibly advance further. Now, granted, I can't say that I've ever done custodial uh, in my life, but, you know, you really got to take your own personal job and make it the best experience you can make it. And I don't really know how to put it much better than that. I'm sure all of you who go down there will have a great time as long as you stay positive and follow all the rules and learn to make it your own program and get the best benefit, the most benefits and the best experience out of it that you can. Anyway, you know, I was asked uh, a few days ago, Scott, how do I pass the time between now and the time I check in? Well, I have a few ideas and here they are. Number one, make a paperclip chain based on how many days you have until you arrive and remove one this is an act of removing remove one for every day that passes and uh, it won't necessarily help pass the time much faster but it'll help I guess number two bombard your life with as many activities as you possibly can for instance go to school go to work do your homework go around and do nothing poke badgers with spoons Go around and see how many license plate stickers are invalid and see how many you can report. Drive up and down semi-populated roads and see if there's anyone who's out driving drunk. Try to climb a tree and 
see how far you can get onto that tree branch without falling off. Ugh. Pick leaves off of trees. Go into a big field and try to find thick grass and see how many nature noises you can make with that piece of grass. Wow, how many of those have I mentioned so far? That's probably like number 15. Just drive around and see how many weird things out of the ordinary that you can find. Oh, number four. You, number three? You could play that mission timekeeper space thing that Disney sent you in your invitation. That kind of takes about two hours. You could browse the internet and try to find different college program participants and try to make friends with them on Facebook and YouTube and other various sites. So uh, that's all the questions for now. And I'm sure I will think of some later, which I will probably post on my next vlog, which will probably be tomorrow. So, until then, see you guys later. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate life for me. We pillage, we plunder, we rifle and loot. Drink up, me hearty, yo ho. We kidnap and ravage and don't give a hoot. Drink up, me hearty, yo ho.